Midwest Guys presents Gotham Watch. <laughs> Gang Gotham! Tell Sal it's over. The guns are bought. The killing room is waiting. He doesn't know it, but he's a dead man. On second thought, I'll tell him myself. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Gotham Watch. Today we will be re- reviewing the episode Unleashed. With me today is Mr. Brian Eckenbauer. Hey, what's up, what's up? What's up, B? It's me and you again, the dynamic duo are back. Aaron's still away, uh, sleeping. <laughs> yeah. So, but I can't blame him. All right, um, let's just, I'm going to let you lead. I'm losing my voice because we've done, what, four podcasts tonight, so. Um, yeah, this will be number four. Number four, so uh, I'll let you uh tell what happened and i'll comment away in there okay so we start the episode off with uh bullock um with a bunch of officers going into uh i guess he's got gordon with him too right yeah and they go into arkham um even though he's with, not supposed to be there right with a warrant to search the search the office it only says office right right yeah that's right so um so they go there to search the office and when they get there they find out that strange is already one step ahead of them and he got the heads up from the judge that they were coming. That they were coming, and all the stuff that was in his office is shredded. Yeah, he, he called it spring cleaning. Right, and he said, "Well, we're." And then Bullock says, "Well, we're gonna we're gonna tear this place apart." He's like, "No, your warrant only says for my office." Yep. So he gets a lot of technicality. Right. Outsmarts him. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, I thought this was a pretty good scene. It, it just shows how how strange is is just as corrupt as the rest of Gotham and is obviously in tight with people. And that's and that's what I thought. It was, you know, for a while we we thought it was just strange working by himself. Yeah. And now you see that he has connections. Yeah. So, you know, just how deep does the rabbit hole go? I don't mm-hmm. know. We'll find out, I guess. Um next we find um um Nigma. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> he's freaked out to say the least. Oh, yeah, and he's like, like I got to get out of here. 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 Yeah. And, you know, and it, it's, even though he's criminally insane, yeah, he's not insane. No, not like that level of insane, anyway. Right, so he, he, he knows, he's like, oh my god, god I gotta get out of here. <laughs> so, um, so we go from that scene, we go to um, the hospital, yeah. right, and they show that the commission is still in the, in the hospital. Right. Um, and then they, they declare that. Bullock is the captain. De facto, they just kind of decide that everybody's he's looking leave. to him. You and, know? And, yeah. and and then he, he, he's and he's joking and he's like, "Well, I don't know what to to say what to say to anybody." And like, "Well, he's looking for you for a speech." <laughs> and he's and he's just like, "Let's get him!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we aren't gonna let this happen to us. They came in and shoot yeah. up our house. Blah oh, blah. Yeah, blah. basically, yeah. what he did is yeah. repeated <laughs> what Gordon said. <laughs> yeah, earlier. Earlier, <laughs> come into our house and shoot and you know, yeah, yeah. kill our brothers. And he basically just repeated Gordon's Gordon's yeah. speech. It was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. I got to admit. Um, we see that um, Bruce mm-hmm. tired of waiting on things to happen. Yep, he wants something to. Ha- he wants to make things happen. So he decides he's going to go off with Selena. Yeah, he convinces Alfred begrudgingly mm-hmm. to, to let him go. Because he knows that Selena knows how to get into Arkham. Because she mm. knows how to get everywhere. Right? Mm-hmm. Selena, being the, we'll call her a double agent. Okay. Because that's what Catwoman is, right? Kind of. Double agent. Yeah, double agent. never know which side she's on. Yeah. Right. So she plays this two ways. She says, yes, she'll help Bruce find a way in to find out what's going on, right? But she also knows, she she knows that uh, Firefly... Her friend. Her friend, um, oh, what's her name? Bridget. Yeah. And is that, in there. And actually, that's what Bruce uses to entice her. Because up to that point, she's like, are you crazy? I'm not going there. Mm-hmm. Are you nuts? He's like, well, your friend Bridget, I heard, is in there. Yeah. And that, bingo, hooked. Yep. Yep. Um, and she says, well, you're not going in with me. I'm going with myself. Yeah. And then they show her, you know, James bonding it, you know, going through all this, the duck work and everything. Yeah. And who's she running into the duck work? Nigma. Nigma. <laughs> trying to get out. <laughs> trying to get out. And she's like, uh, she she barters with him. She tells him how to get out if, she, if he tells her 
how to get to where Bridget is. Right. He's like, you don't want to go there. No, no, you really don't want to go there. Even he's trying to warn her. Right. You know, Nigma, who's crazy himself. So we, we do see that she gets down there. Yeah, eventually. Right, so she... she Well, two things happen. One, um, the alarm sounds. Yeah. Because uh, Nigma left his vent in his room yep. open a little bit, so it rattles with the wind, right? It's rattling with the air, air vent. Yeah. Um, so they hit the alert button. Which means they're gonna the whole place gonna be crawling with security and everything else. So when Nigma does break out the top, they're there waiting. They're there waiting for him. And he's like, "Oh crap!" Yep. Yeah. In the meantime, Selena, being the, the sl- sl- stealth person she is, she manages to make it all the way down to the room. Yeah. Where Firefly is. Yes, but Firefly does not recognize her. Firefly doesn't remember. Her yeah. Because play bit. with her mind. Yeah. And she says, um, "Are you my test?" Yeah, are you here to test me? I was told I would tell I was told someone would be here to test me. Doctor Strange said there would be someone. Are you here. in my test? Yeah. And then it kind of pans away. Yeah. So we don't get to see it, but we see her gun go off. And we also see like her suit morph with her face. It it's like one and the same. Right. Well we like, saw that on the other episode. Yeah. Um when when she actually went into Indian Hill. Yeah. They said it had more. It had it become had, one. Yeah. But this is the first time we actually see like the well, mask cover the her face. Yeah. It, but yeah, it, it so it, it's yeah, very cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, Gordon, Gordon and Bullock go to Butch's mansion. Yeah. Uh, because they know Tabitha is there, which is Galvan's sister. Right. Okay, and they're trying to figure out a way to get rid of Galvan. Yeah, his, her sister is actually thinking about running away. Once well, so they catch her right at the right, door, right at the door, she's like, she's packing up, and and we find out that Barbara has left too. Strangely enough, we're not sure where or why. Right. On a side note, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, the, he's trying to keep her from leaving when Gordon shows up, and he goes, "Well, how do you know how am I going to get rid of her?" And he's, "Well, my grandfather was a collector of antiquities, mm-hmm. and he has the sword." Well, great. Where's he at? The real Azrael sword. Yeah. Well, he, well great. Where's yeah. he at? Oh, he died. Yeah. But he was buried with it. Buried with all his treasures. Yeah. Right. So they, yeah. they're just like, okay. So then they, she takes him to the crypt where he's at. Yeah. And they open up the open up the, the coffin. Yeah. The, the tomb. The, whatever. the tomb, whatever mm-hmm. it is, and the swords there. Yeah. Very and, Indiana Jones esque. Right. Yeah. And then right as it happens, Azrael shows up, which you knew was going to happen. Well, yeah. So, Azrael shows up, and there's a you know there's battle back and forth. And Tabitha thinks that she can talk some sense into him, mm-hmm. right? And she's right. like, you know, she's like, brother, blah, blah, blah. We were sent here to kill yeah. Bruce Wayne. Yeah, right? don't you remember that was our... Ch-? And he's like, he's like, thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you for reminding me. me. And then stabs her. Runs her through with his the yeah. new sword, yeah. Because it was like, he was like, fuck you for doing that to me in the tower. Yeah. Because she, she knocked him out because he... He was trying to um, kill the girl, yeah, the little girl, yeah, yeah. I can't remember her name, but yeah, yeah. And yeah. and so basically, he gets her back, yeah, kind he, of. He's like, yeah. He, even when he walks away, he goes, "Traitor." Yeah, yeah. Thanks for reminding me, traitor. And yeah. then and then so so when everybody comes back to or whatever, because everybody was either knocked out or shot or whatever, or Gordon got away into the vent system, yeah, and then makes his way back into the tomb. <laughs> um, she says she's sorry, and he's like, "For what?" She goes. I remember I reminded him of his true true true, true reason calling. why he was here in Gotham. To, and he's like, What was that? To, to kill, kill the him. last son of Gotham. Yeah. To kill Bruce Wayne. Right. Yeah. And it was like shit. Yeah, it's like one of those <laughs> shit moments. And uh, so Gordon runs outside, tries to catch the get he j- get t- uh, he, he steals a, a police car. Police a commandeer's car. one. Yeah, he yeah. says, Get out of the car. Well you're not a cop, get out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets in the car and as he's driving he calls Calls Alfred to warn him, mm-hmm. but by that time, um, Azrael is probably already almost there, or if not there, because yeah. and we talked about this. Uh, yeah. For some reason, instead of just going into the Batcave, we'll kind of call it the Batcave. Instead of just going into the Batcave and just hiding and saying, "Oh, he's never going to find us in here," yeah. No, let's go around and close all the windows that can easily be broken. Yeah, let's lo- make sure they're locked. Make sure they're locked because like because locks are going to affect glass. Yeah, and a guy who can easily go through glass. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so needless to say, Azrael breaks in and starts fighting with Alfred. Well, he sees him open the back cave and goes, "Ingenious!" At first, yeah. 
And Bruce happens to grab a sword, gives it to Alfred. They have a little sword fight. And they said, run. And so they fight and they go outside. And, yeah. And um, he uses the whip, tap with his whip. Yeah, he's got and he's Bruce. He's got yeah, Bruce and he's the... like pulling him away like he's going to like kill him somewhere else. Yeah. And then um, is it Alfred or Gordon that shoot him? Uh, Gordon shoots him. Gordon shoots him Yeah, first? because he shows up with the car. And because he's about to to kill Bruce when he shoots him. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So he basically saves Bruce. Basically saves Bruce. Yeah. And then so they're back at the car acting like everything's good. Yep. And then um, again in the background we see Gallivant wake up. Rises, yeah. And he again. gets up again. Yeah. And Gordon looks at him and takes his gun and goes to shoot, but he's out of yeah. bullets. Yep. And then all of a sudden, your favorite scene of the episode. Absolutely favorite scene of the episode. So Penguin shows up with Butch, and Butch has an RPG. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, says, he, goes, he, goes, he goes, Gordon, you're always showing up with the wrong tools. <laughs> and so they fire the RPG. I think Ezra says something. I won't say oh shit. He doesn't say oh shit, but he says something. Yeah, yeah. It was like, it was, it was like, like oh. Oh. <laughs> Obviously blows up. They're playing. The whole time this is going on, you're, they've got like guitar rock music playing in the background. Mm-hmm. Very, um, what did I call it? Quentin, uh, Tarantino. Quentin Tarantino-ish uh, scene. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then like, so like all of a sudden they're done. Yeah. Right? And Penguin yeah. goes, you're welcome. <laughs> And Butch, and then, and Butch says, "Have a good night." Like, and he waves his hand, <laughs> and Alfred just stand there, like, and in the state of shock, just kind of waves his hand and goes, "Good night." <laughs> and the whole time, the rock music's playing. The whole scene, it's 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 classic. Yeah, it was probably one of the better better ones, and it, it, it really <coughs> shows. It really shows Penguin sharply dressed. Yes, the aristocrat Penguin. Yes, still psychotic. And he, and he, and he, <coughs> and he went. He had went to Bush and said. Because he, because Bush was with Tabitha. That's right. Yeah. In the hospital. hospital. Yeah. And he said, you know, we need to kill Galvin. Yeah. And he says, you leave her alone. And he was like, okay, um, all right, okay, okay. I'll, I'll leave, I'll leave, I'll leave him alone. So that Bush jumped on his side. And yeah, right. So he. So Penguin and Butch are back together. Well, at least for now. Mm-hmm, for at least for now. Yeah. Um. So we see all that kind of stuff, and then. We see that the end. One yeah. of the spoiler, the biggest spoiler of this episode, I think, by far. Um, Strange is telling people that we have to evacuate. We have to get everybody out. Yeah. Right. Yeah, he does. So, so we start seeing inmates getting pulled out. Yep. Right. So, we see the inmate come out of that first cell block. Yep. And it turns around. He's about seven foot tall. Easy. My guess is it is actually the guy who. Um, Azrael beat up inside of the. Oh, the bald headed guy. Yeah, it could be. So my guess is it's him, but he has yellow lizard eyes, mm-hmm. and like you can see on his face, scales or scales something. or like something, something on his face, right? Right. So I'm taking that as it's Killer Croc. It could very well be Killer Croc because the more you, the more I think about it, I think you're right because they even had like a. One of those wire things they use for crocodiles around his neck, mm-hmm. and they were dragging. They were surrounded by four guys in full body armor, dragging him out of his cell. Yeah, so, so I it was it was yeah. it was pretty cool. Yeah, it was very cool to see. But and, and it makes you think if that if they have Killer Croc, who else do they have? Exactly. We we they teased the Mad Hatter. Yeah, they teased the Mad Hatter. They've also now teased um, well, especially on the ep- on the on the preview for the following week for next yeah. week. Yeah. They teased uh, fish. Yes, yes. We teased see fish is back. Yeah, and, but instead of implanting her with a story in the preview, she says, "I'm Fish Maloney." Maloney. She knows who she is. Yeah, he's like, yeah. "Who are you?" He's like, "I'm Fish Maloney." Bitch. Yeah. yeah, she's she's totally with it. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting uh, to see what happens next week. Well, yeah, because you're gonna have you're gonna have her versus Penguin because yeah. Penguin is the one that killed her. The new Penguin. Yeah. Yep. Very, very cool. Very cool. Uh, again, this show is really hitting its stride. So, And with that in mind, let's get to Final Thoughts and Grades. All right, Eric. Eric. Sorry, Brian. Aaron, who's not here. Aaron's not here. So, Brian, what's your final thought and grade? 
Uh, I'm going to give it an A. I mean, this episode definitely um, it developed some of the characters. It, it pushed pushed some of the people into 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 their their, their roles more so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, like like you said, man, this the show is hitting a stride, and it's be- coming from where we were, episode three. Oh, we were depressed, dude. I know. So depressed. Coming from where we were, episode three. Yeah. To where we are now. Yep. You know, it was episode three and four, and we were like, you know. I don't know if we're going to keep doing this show, if we're going to keep doing this podcast. It's hard to watch. And we're like, okay, well, we'll keep going with it. We'll keep going with it. And we'll I'm so glad we did. Oh, yeah. This is just picking picking up, and we still have three more episodes or two more episodes? I think we got two left now. but Two more episodes still. left, and it's like, oh, my goodness. So I wonder, next week we're going to get Fish Mooney. Yep. I wonder who we're going to get on the last for the cliffhanger. I, I want to, I'm hoping it's Joker or Jerome, but we'll see. That would be a nice way to send us off in the next season. Yes, yes, it definitely would. And, and keep our interest going. So, mm-hmm. yeah, um, yeah. So, what, what grade would you give it? Did you say A, right? I gave it an A. Yeah, I, I would definitely give it an A as well. It, it just like last week's episode, as far as I'm concerned. They're really teasing us, really hitting us hard with the well, five bat wings Indian. out of five bat wings. Five. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, this, it, it's definitely hitting the stride. If you're not watching, you need to start watching again and go back and catch up, really, honestly. Although I'm not sure why you'd be listening to this podcast if you're watching it. Yeah, show. true, but still. Uh, worth the time, A, A, definitely an A, absolutely, 100%. So where can you find uh, four Midwest guys? Uh, well, all you got to do is type in the number four Midwest guys into Google or Bing or any other search engine. That will bring up our Facebook page, our YouTube page, our Twitter page, uh, our Podbean page, where all our audio podcasts are. Um, just about everything. Um, hopefully by the fall we'll start having some video podcasts coming out um, mm-hmm. down the line. So... All that stuff, it's all you can find us there. Um, you drop us a line though, uh, questions, comments, theories. We would love to do a question and comment on the show. Uh, we would definitely credit you with the question or the theory, and we would definitely talk about it. So, uh, just let us know, reach out to us on Twitter, or email, uh, and uh, or Facebook. So, let us know. All right, Brian, thanks for joining us, sir. Thanks for having me, man. Absolutely, and for B. Willie saying, see you next. Our same bat time, same bat channel.